Hi everyone, Christina here. I've zoomed out a little bit for the beginning of this video because I'm going to bring in this big box. This is the latest release from Art Impressions. I have yet to open it. I'm gonna open it with uh, you guys on camera and get my first impressions and reactions and maybe some card ideas. I might throw some in. And I will admit the only, like I have seen a glimpse of what this new release is, but only because I went over to the simonsystamp.com store just to see if the latest release was in stock. And I didn't look too deep, so I'm hoping that most of them are still in stock. But it looked like they had received the release in the warehouse. So, and get this open. Art Impressions, I think this is one of my favorite releases, like release times for them every year, because it has all the Halloween and Christmas stuff. And Bonnie's good at lots of illustration stuff. You know, she's the illustrator over Art Impressions. She's great at everything, but... I think she really shines when it comes to the holiday stuff. I love their holiday release. Okay. Packaged very well. Have a little note inside. I'll go through that later. I don't know if it's a private one or not, but whoo, yeah. Okay, we're hitting it hard with the Halloween. Um, I'm going to take this off camera for a minute just so I can organize them, and then we'll get going. Whew, there's so much in here. I love it. I'm seeing some of the things as I grab them. Love it. There's so much in here. And as usual, they did send along some of their catalogs so I can glance through later if I want to reference something. Okay. I'm going to move some of these off my mat here and we will jump in as well as zoom in because we want to see these up close, right? We want to see what these look like. Okay. Looks like we're starting with new additions to their watercolor line. I love this line. I don't use it nearly a, enough. I've only used it a few times, but every time I use it, I do love it. So this is the shoe set. I love the kind of like vintage shoes. I love it. Um, this one is swing set. Yeah, that's so pretty. I love old swing sets like that. I have a friend who had a swing like this on her front porch. It was gorgeous. Oh, this is right up my alley because I live in a desert. This is the desert set. That's so pretty. I love the little house up there in the cacti. Okay, here we go. Christmas winter. This is the winter kids set. How cute are those little kids? And I like that you don't see their faces. You can keep them really kind of anonymous. They could be any child. That's kind of cool. And then mountain set. Love that. And I love that they've included some of the types of like mountains that we have in Southern Utah. I'm going to zoom in a little like the plateau type mountains. So cool. So this is their watercolor line. I don't know if this is all of them. I think it might be just from first glance at my little stack over here, but we'll see. Okay. I think next is the Bible journaling line. I'm going to zoom out because these are pretty long. This one is wooden crosses set. Ooh, that's so pretty. The two different types of crosses. That's really, really pretty. This one is Praise Instrument Set. Oh, I know who needs this. Jessica Frost Ballas. And of course, I don't know if you guys know this, but she not only plays the harp, but she is also a music teacher and she teaches students how to play the harp. So that's gorgeous. And I love that it's simple enough that you can really, if you wanted to keep your card very graphic, you could just have the harp on it. But if you wanted it to be very um, watercolor-esque, you could do it with the watercolor line like they have suggested here. Really cool. This one is butterfly set. These are some really cute, simple butterflies. I love that. And I love that they're completely empty on the inside so you can paint them whatever way you want. You know, you can add all the details or keep them very simple. I love that. This one is ornate frames set. Ooh, that's pretty. I love how they've watercolored it over here too. I believe Bonnie does all these examples on the side on the packaging. So pretty. This one is scroll set. So pretty. There's a few different scrolls, some ones that are more curled up and then kind of spread out and smaller. And all of these are cling stamps, by the way. Um, that includes the watercolor line. They're all cling. And for today, I think they have these as cling because cling stamps in general, they grab on to like the marker color that you use when you're doing the watercoloring technique with these. 
they grab onto the, the marker ink a little bit better than a clear poly photopolymer stamp would. So I believe that's why they have these as clean, and I think it's a great choice because the quality doesn't suffer no matter what you're stamping, it's great. Okay, let's get into, let's see, these look like they are all the circlet stamps, and I love this one, a new one for Christmas, so cute, I love this. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can really see the example on these. This is the Nativity Circlet right up there. I love this. And the whole idea behind these cards is that you have a three-panel card. I don't know if they have it on the back here or not, but you have a three-panel card and you stamp each one of these stamps on a different panel and they include a die that cuts out all the spaces you need so that it creates like different layers in the image. It's really, really cool. It's a fun concept. Art Impressions does a great job with interactive cards like this. So really beautiful. Next we have Elk Circlet. I like this one. This is really nice. It's pretty. And I like that you've got like the three separate scenes. Like you could do a really simple one with just the, the foliage and the trees. And like before, this one has a die that goes with it. Okay, oh, this is a cute one, this Christmas one. Wishing you and yours peace and joy this Christmas season. And then a little bell, so cute. Um, I did a Christmas card, I think it was, it was either the 2018 holiday card series or maybe 2017, where I used the stamp, one of these stamps that had the three circle designs, but I didn't use them on a trifold card. I used them side by side in a row. So that's another way you can use these types of little project kits. You can um, use them on a regular card. So cute. I love the sleigh in here. All right, just a few more. We've got gardening circlet. Oh, so cute with those birds. Adorable. And I love that the bird one actually cuts out quite a bit. Yeah, you can see the die back here. It cuts out the top and bottom above the birds. So this one is really kind of dainty. I love that. So you have like, you have like the little garden shed or, you know, little house. You've got the table with the gardening tools and then some birds. So pretty. Oh, how cute is this? May your home be filled with love and your heart with Thanksgiving. That's such a great Thanksgiving set. Love that. And you could even use these images to make place cards for your Thanksgiving dinner. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, you could uh, use a similarly sized circle die and make little folding circle place cards. I think that would be really, really cool. So fun. Okay, I think this stack is some more kind of interactive stamps and dies. This one is a flip card. So you have this on the front and then it has this little kind of tab coming off the fold. And then when you flip it open, then you see another greeting on the back and the, the back of the mice. I think it's so cute. This one's called Pumpkin Mice Flip Card. And all of these do include instructions on the back of the little packaging card. And I like to keep the packaging. I like to keep the packaging for these stamps. Um, for other stamp sets from other companies, I do take the stamps out and put them in storage pockets. But with Art Impressions, I like to keep them in their original packaging because I like to reference how the images have been colored because that gives me some cues on where I want shadows to be, um, gives me some different color scheme ideas, things like that. Um, it's a really great jumping off point for working on your projects. Oh my word, this is adorable. Okay, Barnyard Animal Cubbies. Okay, this is really cute. I love their Cubbies line. They're time consuming because you are coloring a lot of different individual pieces, but in the end, I think it's completely worth it. Um, yeah, look how cute this is, the whole uh, barnyard house or whatever, chicken coop, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> farmhouse. Um, and then all the little animals that you can have like peeking out, a barn. It's called a barn, Christina. Yes, it's a barn. <laughs> You'd think I would know. Barnyard animals. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. But these are such cute stamp sets. Um, I did a Cubbies card. I'll have it linked up in the top corner with a big tree. I think it was called Woodland Tree. And it was so fun. And I'm, I seriously, that's one of my favorite cards that I've done in the last year. 
It, I mean, it was amazing. I loved it. One of those ones that takes a while, but completely worth it. Here's another Cubbies Autumn Owls. Oh, these are cute. I might have to make a card with this right away because I really love their owls. I don't know if I've mentioned this. I think maybe I have, but my first introduction to our impressions as a brand was one of their older owl stamps. Um, my friend Kathy Rakusen had it and she was coloring it in all these different ways. And I was just, this is, uh, this is amazing. This owl is so cute. Great images to color from our impressions. And so that's when I kind of got into the art impressions uh, stamp sets. I love it. I love that these two owls with witches hats on. So cute. And I love that it's pumpkins stacked on top of each other. So whimsical. Love this one, Bonnie. Love it. Okay, here's another flip card with kitties wearing sweaters. Adorable. I think I might need to uh, make something with this one. That is so cute. I love that. And it's like the little cats are holding up the greeting that's sending you warm wishes. So cute. Oh, these kitties are adorable. Oh, here's a wheelie. I don't think I've done any of these um but it's basically they give you all the pieces you need including the little brads they give you all the pieces and the dies you need to make an interactive card where um you turn this little tab thing and it makes the character like wheel around hence the name wheelie so this is Anna, uh, this is halloween cat so cute i love that cat i think you could use the cat on its own Oh, it doesn't have a leg on it. <laughs> You'd have to do some masking and stamping to give it a leg, but so cute. I love that. I love the spider that's like freaking out on top because that cat's going real fast. Love it. Here's another wheelies with a snowman. Oh, a cute little mouse on top and the tree that's like bent back in the wind. So cute. I might need to do a few of these because I want to experiment and see how they work. I've only seen examples. Um, I think I saw the one of these at the trade show back in January, but I haven't made one myself, so this would be a really fun challenge. And um, I know you guys like to see them like put together step by step, so it's a little bit easier. Even though they do give you instructions on the back, you can kind of see the words back here. They do walk you through it, but if you're a visual learner like I am sometimes, um, just seeing it put together will be really helpful. Okay, gingerbread cubbies, adorable. I love these little guys, so cute. I love this, um, I love the windows popping out. So cute, from our home to yours. That's adorable, and then there's one back here in this window, so cute. And I love that all the dies, every single die to cut out all the pieces is included. So even the individual gingerbread men and gingerbread people, I should say the ginger people, um, they, all of them are included. Just a little greeting up here too. I don't know if that's on the front. It's not. You have an extra greeting up here. So cute. Oh, and I just saw there's like more little gumdrops. So you can add gumdrops to the house. Oh, that's where it is. Okay, they individually added the gumdrops in the example. Okay, so cute. And it looks like there's a gumdrop die too. So that'll make it easy. Oh, so cute. Happy mailbox cubbies. Oh my word, that is adorable. I might need to make this one too. I There's too many things to do. <laughs> I love this one. I love mail stuff like this. Okay, so it has on the mailboxes as the one stamp. I could do some masking, put this on an envelope for mailer. I think that would be so fun. Cute, I love this. So this is Happy Mailbox Cubbies. Okay, we're at, nearing the tail end here. It looks like I've got a bunch of these tall um, clear stamp sets. This first one is called Feast Mode. So many cute animals. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see these up close. And then I'll just have to move them up and down so you can see the entire stamp set. So this is Feast Mode. Um, these are clear stamp sets. So here's what they look like with the examples. Tis the season for pumpkin spice. I love that. This fox is so cute. I love that he's wearing a sweater and he's holding like a mug with presumably coffee. Adorable. May your life be filled with thanks and giving. Happy Thanksgiving. So cute. I love that. It's adorable. Okay, so this one is called Feast Mode. Next we have a Christmas set called Penguin Cheer. I love the little igloo that kind of jumping up and down or dancing penguin. Deck the halls. Such great greetings. These penguins are adorable. I love the little, 
when they're um, like sets of three critters or people or animals. I just love those. Awesome. This one's Penguin Cheer. Another holiday one called Woodland Holiday Set. Oh, there's that fox again. He is so cute. He just looks all smug, like holding that bell. So cute. The owls again. I'm telling you, the owls are just adorable. Some bunnies, happy holidays. And then look, this like polar bear with the fox. So cute. Warmest Winter Wishes. So cute. That one is Woodland Holiday. Next, we have Crazy Antics Set. Happy Anniversary, Ant Eater. Why the long face? It's just another birthday. So cute. <laughs> Look at this. The, the ants carrying the cake. So cute. I love these ant eaters. They're so funny. Who would have thought to have an ant eater stamp set? Like, that's brilliant. So funny and unusual. I love it. So quirky. So cute. All right. For Halloween, we've got Fright Night set. Grab your cape. Find your broom. Halloween is coming soon. Love these little guys. So cute. Is this a dog? It must be a dog, right? Yeah, it's got to be a dog. It's too big for a mouse. I think that's a dog. Oh, there's bats. A little spider web. Okay, this Halloween on the little banner that the ghost is holding is so cute. <laughs> and three sheets to the wind. And then you have these ghosts <laughs> that are drinking. So funny. That's the Fright Night set. All right, Hoppy Birdie to you. This is the Hoppy Birdie set. Oh my word, these birds are hilarious. Sending you a birthday tweet. A little birdie told me it was your birthday. Let's face it, birthdays are for the birds. Is the bird holding a phone? Oh, sending you a birthday tweet? Got it. I get it now. It's tweeting. It's on Twitter. <laughs> it's a Twitter. It's a bird that's on Twitter. So funny. All right, here we go. Happy trails set. Happy retirement. You light up my life. Home is where you park it. I love it. Happy trails. I love these two in their, in their chairs. Happy camper. So cute. If you know anyone who has campers or RVs, this would be a great set for them. That's the happy trail set. Next we have enjoy the ride. I love that there's like a water bottle. So funny. It's your birthday. Just roll with it. Cruising by to say hi. I love this whole, <laughs> this whole scene. She's on the back, just like sipping her drink. Like, Hey, and there's a dog on the front. Her purse is on the back. So funny. I love that. Looks like the little flag is separate. So you could probably add it to this bike up here, or you can add the flag to the large image down here. Oh, this is cute. Baby boy set. I love that little bear. Oh, I guess that's a dog. Welcome little man. Little... So cute. Thank you for the baby gift. That's perfect. So much joy in this little boy. How cute. That is baby boy. And then, of course, we have to have baby girl. The elephant's adorable. Sugar and spice. Oh, my word. Look at her little clothesline. Adorable. Sorry if these are glaring. I'm trying to angle them so they're not glaring so much. It's a girl. So sweet. Girl. So cute. Love her little face. She's adorable. Once again, that is a baby girl set. Okay, so that is the fall winter release from Art Impressions, the 2019 fall winter release. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing a quick walkthrough of their entire release, every single stamp set and project kit that they offer. Big thank you to Art Impressions for sending me this box. They're so generous and they really appreciate artists in the industry and really support us. And I really appreciate that. Um, Bonnie is such a sweetheart and Kate over Art Impressions. I see them every time I go to a trade show and they're just delightful and such great people. And I love supporting their company because they're such a great group of people just doing amazing things within the industry. If you want to see any of these stamp sets or pick them up for yourself, I'll have links down below over to simusstamp.com and you can pick these up. Um, some of the like more holiday ones might go a little bit quicker just because you got to grab them while you can. So if you are interested in any of these right now, I encourage you to click over and buy those right away. 
Thanks so much for watching today's video. On screen, I've got some art impressions, project videos for you to catch, um, how I use some of the different interactive project sets, or just stamping with their stamps in general. I hope you'll check those out. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like walkthroughs like this. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.